Hello, I wanted to make a short video on how to make uh, activity 1.3.4, the measurement lab, and the air skimmer. If you haven't done so already, you will want to go to uh, my Moodle page and uh, bring up activity 1.3.4, which is the document, uh, the air skimmer, how to make it. Uh, you've already read the instruction. You should have your equipment ready. Uh, you will need a ruler and a pencil some cardstock. In this case, we're using a uh, manila folder. You will also need a um, uh, cereal box in order to complete this activity. Um, you've already read the procedure, if you haven't done so already. And what I want to do right now is I want to focus on making the actual uh, body. I'm going to be using the uh, uh, the standard units of measurement, inches, you had the option of using the metric system, uh, which is based on groups of 10, but for our purposes, we are going to use, um, we are going to use uh, imperial units of measurement. We're gonna use a standard ruler in inches. I'm using an architect's ruler here. And as you can see, this is all based in groups of, um, based in, in increments of 16th uh, of an inch. So all we're doing today is we're gonna be making a rectangle that is 11 inches long, four inches wide, three inches in the middle, and there's a half inch gap on each side. We're also gonna be making a fin, and we need two of those, and we'll also be making an air scoop. If you're looking at your plan, you'll notice that this is a, the, ortho, or the orthographic drawing of what the skimmer looks like when it's assembled. I don't wanna focus on that right now. I'd rather focus on just getting the drawing and the measurement right, because this whole exercise is about following directions, measuring accurately, and drawing accurately, and being able to draw uh, by taking a not to scale drawing, because this drawing is not to scale. A regular piece of paper is 11 inches long by, uh, it's eight and a half inches wide, 11 inches long, and obviously this does not meet the requirements of this air skimmer, so this is what's called not to scale. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrapolate by taking these measurements, drawing these measurements on this manila folder and making our air skimmer. So I'm gonna start off by making the uh, main body panel. Again, it's 11 inches long, four inches wide. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an 11 inch long rectangle that's four inches, uh, it's 11 inches long and four inches wide. I'm gonna use the natural geometry of my, uh, of my board here. It's kinda hard to see and I, my camera may go out of focus. There's a natural crease here um, on the on the manila folder. It's kind of hard to, to, to pick up, but there's a natural crease here where the, where the folder gets folded in half. And I'm gonna use that as a boundary because the manila folder is already set at 90 degrees and it has straight lines. So I wanna make sure that I'm using that geometry in order to set everything up so I make sure that my rectangle is nice and straight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my ruler on my paper. I'm gonna sit here, set it here at the top and I'm gonna make a mark at zero. And then I'm gonna make another mark very lightly here at 11 inches. And I'm just gonna make a straight line. And again, I'm using the geometry, using that crease to help me in my straight line. So there's my first mark at 11 inches. I'm gonna turn this upside down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go four inches over So here's zero, here's four inches. Let me slide that over. I'm just gonna make a mark at four inches, okay? Then I'm gonna go back to the end of this line. I'm gonna make another mark at four inches. And then I'm just gonna connect the two. And if you ever played with a placemat at a restaurant when you were a kid, this is exactly the same thing. And I always wanna make sure that I'm double checking. We like to measure twice in this class. So I wanna make sure that this is 11 inches long and it's not quite 11 inches long. So there's 11 inches. And then I'm gonna connect these two endpoints. And now I have a rectangle that is 11 inches long and four inches wide. 
per the instructions on my sheet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do make this back portion of my, of my uh, main body panel. If I look at my instructions, it's three inches from the back. So basically I'm making a three inch square using the geometry that I've already sketched out so far. So what I'll do is I'll start down here at this end. I'll place my ruler at zero. This being zero here where my, where my pencil is. So I know that it's three inches, so I'll make a mark from zero to three. And then I'll go over here and I'll do exactly the same thing on this side. Place the ruler at, at zero, zero meaning the end. Here's three. So I've got two marks, one here and one here. And all I have to do now is connect the dots put my ruler across my two points and now I've got a three inch rectangle okay okay now if I look at my drawing I notice that oh it's dashed so now I want to use my eraser and I'm just going to turn this into a dashed line okay so now I've got a dashed line for the instructions. And now I need to make these two gaps that are here at half an inch a piece, okay? So again, I'm gonna put my ruler here at the bottom. I'm gonna turn my ruler upside down. So here's zero, here's half an inch. So I'm gonna make a mark at half an inch. And then I'm going to make, let me get my wire out of the way here. And then I'm going to make another mark at half an inch. So here's four, so that's four inches, three, three and a half. That's half an inch. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing down here. Put my ruler at zero. I'm gonna make a mark at half an inch. Do exactly the same thing. There's three, four, three and a half. So now I've got two marks. And then I'm gonna connect these two together and this is a solid line. This is going to be a cut line. So now I've got the two slits in the back that will need to be cut. Now I'm going to turn this upside down, or right side up depending on your point of view. And then I'm going to make two more marks at half inch intervals. Half inch, three and a half, three inch, I'm going to come back up here and do exactly the same thing to make sure my marks, my measurements are accurate. Half an inch, half an inch. And if I look at my instructions, if I look at my instructions, this is a dashed line. Dashed line. So again, I'm going to take my two marks, line them up, and I'm going to make a dashed line. And the dash line for our instructions are going to be where we fold later on. But we're not worried about that at this point. All we're doing is laying out the plan so we know what to do later on. So now I've got my air scoop, okay? So again, 11 inches long from this point to this point, four inches all the way across from this point to this point, there's a three inch gap right here. And this is half an inch right here. And that's how you make the main body scoop, okay? I'm gonna use the other portion of my folder here to draw out my fin, okay? Again, I'm gonna use the geometry of my paper, of my uh, uh, manila folder here rather than trying to draw these off in space because I want to make sure that everything is square. Okay? So again, I have a line, a crease that's very hard to see. So again, if you're using a cereal box, there should be some indentations or some creases already built into the cereal box. And you want to use those as reference points so that way when you make your lines, everything is nice and straight and square because if you draw it out in space, it's kind of hard to do that and make sure that everything is nice and square. So again, I'm going to use, start at zero. Here's zero. And 
three because if I look at my instructions, the base of my fin is three inches. So I'm going to go up three inches. Three inches. And then I have to go over half an inch. So there's half an inch. And then I'll need to do exactly the same thing on this side. Go up half an inch, starting at zero. So again, I have a line that's right here that is three inches. This is half an inch, as is this. And then I'm just going to connect these two points, and that will give me my first fin. Now, a common thing is for students to say, well, I've made one fin, can I copy the other one? Well, no, because if I copy on the outside, once I've cut this out, the other fin will be slightly larger than the other one. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that each one is square. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my measuring tool, the ruler. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm actually going to start at zero here. Okay, here's three inches. And I'm going to use this as a reference point. Make sure that this is nice and straight. Now, in this particular case, I'm starting at 12. Okay, actually, I won't start at 12 because I might confuse someone. I start at zero. I'm going to make a mark at three inches. Go straight down. Then I'm going to go across half an inch. And then my mark where I laid at three inches, I'm going to make another mark at half an inch. Connect the two points. I want to make sure that I'm accurate. And again, there's three inches here. From this point to this point, this is half an inch. And this also is half an inch. So there's my fin number one and fin number two. Now I'm going to do my air scoop. I'm going to come over, I'm going to flip my manila folder upside down again, and I'm going to start off by making a three inch square. Again, I'm going to use the natural geometry of my paper. This one's a little bit tougher. So here's a mark of three inches, there's three at zero. So now I've got a baseline. And then I'm going to make a vertical line at three inches. Another vertical line at three inches. And connect the two points. And I've got a square. Okay. Now if I look on my sheet for the air scoop, the top has a gap of 1 8 inch. The bottom has a gap of 3 8 of an inch. 1 8 of an inch at the top here and a 3 inch gap there. So this is 3 inches by 3 inches. I'm going to use my ruler here. 1 16th, 2 16th, that's 1 8 I'm going to make a line. I'm going to come down to the bottom. There's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. Make a small mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those two points together and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to repeat the process on the right side. 1 16th, 2 16th is 3 8 Do the same thing on the bottom. 1 8 2 8 3 8 And connect the two points together. And I've got my measurement. Okay? So the air scoop will look like that. Now if I look at my directions, I need to do one more thing. According to my directions, this is a dash line. So I'm going to use my eraser and 
and I'm just going to erase some of the lines to make it dashed because I know that will be a fold line a little later on. Okay? So again, this is one eighth at the top and then three eighths at the bottom. And that is how you lay out the plan for the air skimmer. Okay? 11 inches, 4 inches total, 3 inches inside. Air scoop, 3 inches with a rise, 1 half inch over to um, run. 3 inch base. 3 inch base, half inch rise, half inch rise, connect these two, and you should be good to go. And that's the plan for making the air skimmer. Thanks for watching.